Welcome viewers, welcome to our show, Orthopedic Solution Academy. Hope you all are well during this COVID-19 pandemic situation by wearing masks and keeping distance, and definitely by giving the vaccine. Hope our Valentine's Day will be more beautiful after taking the vaccine. Dear viewers, uh, today our topic is achondroplasia, a very important topic, and treatment by Elizaru, and evolution by the uh, evolution method of the uh, lengthening. So it is a very important topic uh, for the Elizaru surgeon. And our honorable speaker is uh, Professor Novikov Sir from the Russian Institute of Elizaru. I would like to uh, request Professor Novikov Sir to join with us. Hello, sir. Welcome to our show. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can Good afternoon, I start? Sir. Uh, just a bit, please, sir. Uh, I would like to request our uh, honorable academic expert. Uh, Professor Mofakharul Barisar, the pioneer Elizabeth surgeon in Bangladesh, had to join with us. Professor Mofakharul Barisar. Thank you so much, uh, Danveer. Thank you. So Thank much. you, sir. Thank you, sir, for joining with us. Dear viewers, uh, uh, Orthopedic Solution Academy is a highly academic program, and uh, today our topic is achondroplasia. Hope you will be benefited um, from this uh, program. Now, uh, I would like to request our honorable speaker, Professor Novikov, sir, to start his excellent presentation regarding achondroplasia treatment by Elizaru. Professor Novikov, sir, would you please start your presentation, sir? Thank you very much. And uh, I want to say we are happy because this year we celebrate 100 years since Elizabeth birth, 70 years of Elizabeth Messes, and 50 years of Kurgan Center. People of lost stretcher have extended at all times. Very rich, poor, everywhere, all country, doesn't matter where we all time have this situation. Kin of uh, uh, daughter of kin, big person, small person, the problem of low growth has extended at all times. And so many persons give us information about the hendroplasia, like Lisson, Barrett, Kaufman. Marie, Volkov, Elizarov, Katon, Shevtsov, Dror Paley, Novikov, Klimov, and only uh, with Elizarov, doctor start step by step change of this life. Lensinin, this is example of Lensinin, was before Elizarov. And uh, these uh, slides I took from Jacques Caton, and uh, I want to show Wagner. <clears throat> Before Elizarov, this great uh, surgeon, professor from German, says we can support uh, for patient with a hondroplasia only with uh, correction deformity and nothing more. And Elizarov was first who opened it, the world's first department of growth regulation near 40 years ago. And now through this department, more than, very sorry, not 100, 1,000 patients have been treated in Elizarov uh, Center, Elizarov department. Indications for surgery, this is disproportional shortening, deformity, all of segments. And very important to do X-rays spine, because sometimes we have severe contraindication with uh, vertebra, and with the contour education, uh, severe several somatic condition of a patient, mental disorders, 
angiotrophic and neuro neurological disorders and infections. When we talk about uh, time, when we can touch uh, first uh, stage of this patient, uh, please remember these uh, three periods. Because between six and uh, between four and six years, this is period of delay. Then period of equalization and then period of accelerated majority. This period, second period, uh, better for first stage. This period, not so good for start. This age, we usually <coughs> continue our treatment. And uh, here we give scheme, uh, different uh, variants of treatment, and please remember, Elizarab start touch this patient more than 50 years ago. First, uh, monofocal, uh, this is another uh, variant, bifocal, then after bifocal, uh, that I need twice touch uh, femur. Elizarab, uh, Only once, <coughs> three, uh, one femur, one tibia, same si size or same uh, <coughs> unilateral lengthening. And after uh, this lengthening, uh, function of uh, knee joint was very bad. And I show only like skin, nothing more, and never recommend uh, this treatment. And then coming in another uh, <clears throat> period when we start simultaneous cross, uh, cross lengthening of contralateral tibial and femur. Very quickly, I want to show uh, surgery on the femur. Continued uh, topic of uh, Dr. Barry this is uh, pre-drilling uh, bone before osteotomy. This is approach for <coughs> osteotomy and after this is suturing and automatically we have reposition if sometimes we have dislocation. For support uh, during the uh, lengthening, we have uh, problem with the soft tissue of uh, knee joint, and for prevent of luxation, uh, we usually put uh, frame on the tibia. <clears throat> Hinges to do reposition automatically. So many years ago, Dr. Elizarov touched first femur in the world with a chondroplasia. And he started lengthening on the proximal part of uh, femur. But big distance between frame give us very interesting situation. <clears throat> Expressed periosteal reaction of the proximal part. Dr. Elizarov start uh, lengthening on the distal part. Same situation. Express periosteal reaction on the distal part. And then, Elizarov start lengthening bifocal. This is first uh, patient in the world uh, when Elizarov did uh, all of segments with bifocal methods. 
and uh, so many magazines, journals give information about Roberta Bianchi. After two TBS coming second stage and to do simultaneous <coughs> lengthening both of uh, both of femur very difficult with some complications with many problems and after this epoch de Elizarov, I show these slides only like history only like about methods of our father and you see uh, how patient after surgery can walk without any support during the lengthening of the tibia and uh, femur too, use only sticks with excellent function. <clears throat> this is a uh, patient was near 40 years ago. Then coming time of cross uh, lengthening, simultaneous lengthening. So many patients we touch with bifocal lengthening, but uh, now my experience better to do lengthening with one level, <clears throat> more easy, more quickly, more better, less pain, without any problem with joints. And <clears throat> Elizarov was genius and uh, did lengthening of uh, humerus uh, after finish lengthening of uh, low extremities. Now many doctor start from uh, humerus. I am not agree uh, give recommendation for baby four years old uh, to do because here or we can uh, give this uh, patient each humerus. 8, 10 centimeters, but if we will start uh, lengthening of humerus with very young patient, no, maximum 4, 6 centimeters, no more. Now this is patient from Poland and now uh, she work in bank and can uh, use uh, ski in the mountain, has family. And I won't say echondroplasia is a particular area of orthopedics. Why? Because this is orthopedics uh, casus. We especially to do formation of uh, deformity in proximal sort of femur. A little bit later I will show. And please not correct virus deformity on tibia. Why? Because during the lengthening, automatically <clears throat> will come in valgus deformity. And if you will, uh, from uh, <clears throat> beginning, did virus correction, uh, then you will against this valgus, big valgus deformity. And not full correct elbow uh, position, <clears throat> bent position of elbow joint, because full unbent position, not so comfortable for, for patient and sometimes patient uh, not uh, satisfied with uh, full straight of elbow joint. Here, we especially to do uh, deformity, anticorvation deformity for uh, correction of hyperlordosis, like patient <coughs> from Poland. I won't repeat again, what is it, our methods, our magic methods, this is almost bloodless and low invasive, uh, invasive uh, surgery. This is very strong film fixation of bone fragments, early weight bearing of effect limb, function of adjusting joint and post-operative adjustment of the bone fragments. From the time of surgery till the removal of the frame, Постоянно что-то вылетает здесь. And 
uh, so many dissertation uh, we uh, finished in our center, uh, PhD dissertation, uh, professor dissertation, only with achondroplasia. And now we can uh, talk with another point from scientific point. Uh, Epoca de Elizarov, we did so big lengthening and uh, collect experience and scientific experience. And indications for surgery of treatment. This is not lengthening. This disproportion. Uh, <coughs> disproportionate shortening of deformity of the limbs. And we solve problems like defect and damage biomechanics, some social, domestic, and psychological problems. We take into account such aspect of medical and social rehabilitation as biomechanical, ergonomic, and aesthetic. Selection of extension tactics, assessment of factors, elongations, number of segments to be extended, the need for correction, destruction, and rehabilitation potential of the soft tissue and bone tissue. And so many skeletal damage, achondroplasia, uh, achondroplasia. And many years ago, and now, again, we usually use monofocal lengthening. Sometimes with severe deformity, with bifocal, upper and lower extremities. Very seldom we touch forearm. Usually, a uh, patient uh, satisfied only with lengthening of humerus. And when we start treated, we need to think about ergonomic, clinical, and biomechanical aspects of lengthening. And all impressing assessment of the clinical, anatomical, and functional condition of the patient. Planning of the reconstruction of the musculoskeletal system and preoperative modeling. Very important. For what we do this? Because everything around of, all, of us, uh, for our height, not for dwarfism and for patient with achondroplasia. And we need to think about easy assist, access of control and directing syst, uh, system, easy access to everywhere and control of directing system, easy access to security system. And during the treatment, uh, we use radiography, densitometry, ultrasound, CT scan, volumetamere of the extended segment. So many different system of measurement, but we usually use general angles. And when we start uh, lengthening, must think about uh, apophysis. This is my topographic map, and uh, we want to share with our experience how to do muscles change during the uh, lengthening. And we delayed to the three groups. First group, muscles which uh, are always lengthening by the entire amount of lengthening. 
regarding of the number and level of osteotomies. Second uh, groups, muscles which are not elongated. And third group, muscles which lengthening depend on the level of osteotomy. This is very, very important uh, when we uh, touch patient second time. Uh, when we talk about the level, <clears throat> think uh, just now, please, uh, to see uh, tuberosities of the uh, delta uh, muscles of deltaideus. Because if we will do uh, osteotomy upper or below, place of fixation <coughs> muscles of deltaideus, we will have absolutely different results. And uh, so many complications when some doctor to do osteotomy very close to the cap of uh, humerus. <coughs> because uh, muscles of pectoralis go with uh, lengthening very far from place of uh, fixation. <clears throat> Here you can see uh, how during the lengthening change shape of muscles of deltaidos. And we uh, prefer, this is our methods, when we do uh, corticotomy through the uh, place of attaching of deltaid muscles. Here, another uh, point when uh, sometimes osteotomy go through uh, place of fixation of uh, patella. Estimation of bone tissue destruction potential. We use uh, radiography, ultrasound, digital bone, density analysis, evaluation of the <coughs> destruction potential of soft tissue, and evaluation of patient's rehabilitation capacity. During the treatment, must all time check all of angles. Sometimes, now we haven't, but want again, uh, many years we use <coughs> automatically distraction, now haven't, and very excellent support for us when uh, our colleagues give us information about condition of uh, all of soft tissue, and here like densitometry. Little bit later, I want to explain about this. What is it volume? This is simple measurement, give us very important information about potential condition, potential uh, forces for the lengthening when we measure uh, volume of the muscles and skin. And you see relative volume and absolute volume. And the increase of the absolute volume of limb segment after lengthening is an evidence of soft tissue growth. The constancy of the indicator indicates dystrophic process. Must before uh, lengthening, take this information during the lengthening, after lengthening, and very important, before second stage. This is my colleague, uh, Alek Klimov, and maybe, inshallah, we will together go to the Bangladesh because he has excellent information about second lengthening of uh, patient with a chondroplasia. And uh, here you can see when we can use uh, via visaliva or sometimes this is 
two wires work more than uh, effic uh, more effective than two wires for uh, wire with a lever. Here, this is uh, system give us support increase forces on the frame. Here, we very, now very seldom use this system, but uh, because very uh, dangerous. But uh, this is two wires give us very good uh, support for osteotomy in proximal part of fibula. And without exercise, we haven't result. And you see how <coughs> Professor Elizau, Elizarov show how patient can take weight bearing and stimulate him for the walking. Genius, new always professor. Two humerus uh, patient from Germany, uh, 35 years ago. This is our hall. Professor Barry and many doctors from uh, Bangladesh uh, were in this hall and patient come without uh, lift, only with stick. Simultaneous lengthening of both of humerus, more than 10 centimeters. I think near the 12. And so many patients come here, maybe for cinema, maybe for some exhibitions, maybe for concert. And we have excellent rehabilitation. And without uh, our uh, colleagues, we cannot get uh, perfect result and you see all of patients with extreme big amount of lengthening each time twice daily patients come in the gym for exercise here we can walk uh, we show how very easy we can increase function of elbow joint here device for the automatic development of prevention of joints contraction. And now, during the three stages, we can finish all of our program, but for height, some patients want second time increase uh, his height and usually we touch second time only tibia here first patient with cross lengthening contralateral uh, this is patient from uh, old Serb uh, yugoslavia from serbia 35 years ago look at this patient near 50 centimeters increase height now he is inter interpreter uh, and he know very well chinese and work like interpreter we twice touch uh, his uh, tibias and humerus patient from korea all of these patients from epoca de elizarov this is uh, was after elizarov and you can see 40 centimeters lengthening, 28 centimeters his natural uh, growing, and after treatment, he may be upper than his mother. This is only like historical <clears throat> photo. During the day, patient all time spent in corridor with another baby, not lay in the bed. And <clears throat> do you remember I show, please, not correct virus deformity. This is patient was first. And Professor Lizarov start from correction valgus deformity of this patient. After five, six centimeters coming valgus deformity. And Professor shifts off me spent big time and very difficult was correct valgus deformity. 
This patient from Italy was second, and uh, we not correct valgus deformity, uh, varus deformity. We only lengthening and uh, <coughs> varus correct automatically. Now, this patient uh, finished lengthening his uh, tibia uh, 1983. Sessa Marca. Now he is president of uh, biggest association short people in the world, Asami. He is from Milan, <clears throat> and so many patients now under this association. And uh, I'm collaborate. If uh, Bangladesh having association, must create because Russia just now open and uh, father and mother of this patient <clears throat> very active and support and collaborate with the uh, doctor. And you see Sessa Marka, Dror Peili, uh, Hosni, Kamal Hosni, Konstantin Novikov, Algieri, and many doctors from all of the world. Algieri here, what here. One doctor from German, one uh, from French, from German, and all of these doctor use Elizarov technique for lengthening of extremities, achondroplasia. I am happy because more than ten years I work with Elizarov, and he was all time with patient, inside of patient. And now this is monument, this is planet, this is our, our <coughs> planet in the sky, this is our philosophy. I am very happy because I have excellent friends all over the world, true message of Elizarov. Thank you very much for your attention and I invite you for cooperation and exchanging of our experience. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your nice and brilliant presentation. And uh, I think uh, it will be a milestone for us and we can follow this uh, technique also and we can help our people also. Uh, so now I would like to request our honorable academic expert, Professor Mopatrol Barisar, uh, to share his uh, knowledge regarding the achondroplastia and the uh, treatment by Rizaru. Professor Mopakarul Barisar, would you please? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you clearly and loudly, sir. Okay. You can hear me. First of all, I would like to thank Professor Novikov Konstantin Igorovich for his excellent show up. He has shown a lot of cases and the during the time of Professor Ilizarov, how he was treated this all kind of achondroplastic patient. And later on, during the time of Professor Vladimir Valvishevsov, they have changed uh, their own technique. And the complications that was done by Professor Ilizarov, he showed himself, if you go for the lengthening from the femur fast, and if you go lengthening for the tibia fast, what is happening? And nicely, uh, Professor Novikov showed cross, cross level of lengthening. That is, you can go for the femur and go opposite side of the tibia. When you finish this one, you can go again for the, if you do right side, you can go for the left side. Cross lengthening is very good. And I'm doing myself the cross lengthening, femur and tibia. And sometimes I tried myself to go for the tibia fast, both tibia fast, and I have done the re-lengthening of the tibia. And regarding the uh, treatment procedure, at which age you can start, we rightly mentioned four to six, seven to 10, and above that. And I, 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 I myself advise all the patient for doing the achondroplastic lengthening five to six years. Uh, tibia or femur, right side femur, if you do, you go for the opposite side tibia. If you go to the left side femur, you go to the right side tibia. So there are, uh, if you go for lengthening in the femur, uh, 
uh, more than beyond three or four or five centimeter, you can invite contracture or stiffness of the knee. So that's why my question to uh, Professor Novikov, uh, what's your suggestion regarding the lengthening of the tibia in achondrobal plastic patients uh, by monofocal corticotomy? Uh, how much lengthening it is advisable for the patient? Otherwise, uh, he deliberately, nicely showed everything. And uh, this is an excellent teaching for the young orthopedic surgeons, not only for the Elizar surgeons, those who are using the uniaxial fixator and other kind of fixator, as for example, SUB or Taylor special frame. But Elizar is still the best among all other external fixators. So my questions to Professor Novikov, what's your suggestions regarding the lengthening of the femur? in a chondroplastic patient. Uh, uh, Professor, Professor Navigov, sir, we can't hear you, sir. Professor Navigov, sir, please unmute yourself. Yeah. Just now? Okay, yes, yeah. sir, we can hear you clearly. Yeah, and uh, I want to answer four questions of Dr. Barry. Uh, start Usually we start from both of tibia, uh, age six, near six. Yes. Because uh, we need collaborate with patient, and we need think about amount of lengthening. We uh, need think about percentage, not centimeters. Uh, baby, uh, four five years has very short tibia, and if we will do how many? Five, six centimeters is not enough for chondroplasia. Usually we think about eight, ten centimeters. Baby has ten centimeters, and ten centimeters, this is will near 100 uh, percent of all of tissue. This is, we will kill our result in the future. When we touch baby in the first time, we need to think about second stage. <clears throat> and usually, uh, Epoca de Elizarov we think about centimeters 12 14 16 maximum 22 only imagine patient 14 uh, 14 years old 22 centimeters for me patient was happy me like doctor unhappy why because we lost uh, function of uh, foot uh, ballerina foot uh, Pyrenees uh, sensation of both of tibia, not so good uh, walking because patient is uh, how limping. And uh, now, for me, Elizara all time uh, to do uh, bifocal because having time and patient need about maximum. For me, better. Not small amount but less than 10 more quickly more easy more effective and give us chance touch this segment second time because if we will do uh, with big lengthening for example six uh, eight years uh, finished with 12 centimeters of tibia or 10 centimeters of uh, humerus uh, yeah row line will closed and we will kill we will close natural potential for growing uh, and for answer uh, questions first stage six years after one two years second time crossed then okay. if patient want then the, uh, will not enough maybe before okay. Uh, mm. 20 years, small amount, six, eight centimeters. Last time we will touch tibia because because when we touch uh, crossed uh, lengthening uh, right tibia, left f uh, femur, sometimes we cannot see which will reaction of grow line. And when we will finish lengthening, some vulgar, some virus deformity, need correction. With correction, we continue with small lengthening. And usually now. Uh, we twice, sometimes three, 
uh, times lengthening of uh, low extremities. And now this is real topic of son of uh, Dr. Barry. Very important. Why? Because just now so many doctors, for example, in the Russia, go through our difficulties and repeat our complications our way 30 years ago. For example, this doctor from Moscow, from St. Petersburg, to do lengthening humerus in uh, four years. For my uh, opinion, this is a mistake. Because a uh, small baby, four, six centimeters, for normal life, this is not enough. Because Spain will not enough for... Как самообслуживание Барри, я забыл. Helping, uh, helping. Personal and, hygiene. Yeah. Personal hygiene. And uh, very interesting. Uh, a hundred pleasure in the Russia. Now, doctor ask uh, mother and father, why you not uh, think about future this patient? When uh, mother was uh, pregnant, why you not uh, to do, you not did abort? I am against because this is baby from God. And if uh, God give chance, must give support. And I think uh, we can, if uh, parents agree, we can, we need to give support to this patient. Very good. And uh, regarding Tanvir, I want to add, regarding the thank you, thank tibia you. lengthening, he rightly mentioned, don't go for correction of the virus because this kind of patient you will get you'll see that they are with virus deformity so don't need to correct the virus deformity when you are going for lengthening it will already almost mm -hmm. it will correct when you are going for lengthening this is very important this is very important tidbit uh, a lot of surgeons are doing because they are looking that there is the upper part of the tibia the whole tibia is the virus so they want to correct at the same time virus with Lengthening. So you don't need to correct the virus. Because and this after growth after five centimeters will again correct one. Again, yes. Yes. After five six centimeters, if you correct, then again you will get the valgus. So you are creating by doing virus correction, you are creating valgus. This is very important for the acronoprasic patient. That is the very important thing. This is also very good teaching. Yes, yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, sir, for uh, giving us some valuable tricks and tips. Uh, sir, uh, I have a question. Uh, is there uh, a minimum gap time uh, between the first stage and uh, second stage of lengthening? To do. Uh, very sorry, but yes. you, feel, but you, you, can, you can. You can. Two to three years, you could start lengthening after yeah. two to three years. Yeah. At, at least and we uh, have done, two to three years. I have, I have done the cases and you can see in my book, Color Atlas. You can see yes, in the pediatric, I have done the cases. And uh, you should have to counsel the patient because this is a continuous process. You cannot do one time. You should have to advise before doing the surgery, lengthening. You must tell your patient and parents that you, you need to go for re-lengthening. And rightly, Novik have said, don't go for lengthening of the humerus at the age of four fast. You go to the how you can sit, how you can drive, how you can bicycle. So that's why lower extremity is very important for doing the lengthening fast in achondroplastic patient. Am I right? Okay. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. And uh, <clears throat> when we talk about uh, period, rest period, this is the pain. Uh, mm -hmm. And when we finish lengthening, must uh, uh, <clears throat> send this patient in the hand of rehabilitation. Because yeah, exactly. Exactly. after uh, lengthening of uh, femur, we have sometimes, this is true, we have not problem, but uh, temporary bent contracture, extend contracture of uh, <clears throat> knee joint. Mm -hmm. When second time patient come, if he haven't enough function, full function of knee joint, we not touch them. Now, if patients during the lengthening has small equinus deformity of foot or absolutely straight knee joint uh, during the lengthening of uh, femur, we immediately stop our lengthening. 
function of joint must be same with lengthening and uh, about how many what uh, which kind of uh, methods uh, variant better monofocal or bifocal for soft tissue better monofocal but for 10 centimeters this is so big time for lengthening and maybe not so good if patient has deformity sometimes uh, in the distal part we have deformity we touch uh second uh, uh, distal part for correction small amount of lengthening and uh, normal amount lengthening on in proximal part uh, hum, uh femur we touch for correction of lordosis correction uh, create uh, anticurvation deformity small amount of lengthening and uh, more than 80 75% uh, of amount of lengthening uh, all of segment we finished in distal part and mm -hmm. now i am not agree with dror paley why because he uh, do uh, lengthening distal part of femur and proximal same pr uh, time proximal part of tibia this is big outer compression for knee joint area of uh, femur and area of tibia grow line hatam i am not agree mm -hmm. he show excellent right, right. Stuff, but we not uh, we need think about future just now come in time and this patient with two uh, few patient we did but result was not so good we not recommend this if you during the lengthening patient can but just now we can calculate uh, calculate which kind of muscles fi uh, from femur fix here which kind of muscles from tibia fix on the here and <clears throat> what will be with these muscles uh, next time i think during this year with uh, son of dr barry we will show the map map with uh, mere topography Made of a grip. will change our mind. We will never do big amount of lengthening, and uh, we will never do, for example, this area or this area. So many mistakes uh, doctor <coughs> did on the humerus, only with level of osteotomy. And just now, please, uh, young doctor, when you uh, only plan, ask. Dr. Barry, which area better touch for lensing? So, uh, sir, would you please tell us about the uh, a better area for corticotomy in case of femur? Either it is uh, monofocal or bifocal. Uh, which site will be best site for the corticotomy in femur? For femur, distal part. Distal, distal, part, part. Of, uh, distal part for femur and uh, proximal part only for correction a small amount of lengthening for correction of uh, lordosis but not all patient has severe lordosis and uh, Sir, in, the, in the proximal part uh, uh, can you uh, give us any uh, measurement that is it is uh, two centimeter uh, below lesser trochanter or uh, one centimeter below lesser trochanter is there any uh, marking there uh, you're absolutely right, doctor. Minimum two, three centimeters below. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. Minor. Because uh, me, Professor Elizarov, two, uh, few patients, three, four patients, we touch this area of terrible. Result was terrible. And we lengthen in only uh, in proximal part seven centimeters we dislocate place of, then, uh, of muscle then we, have, we have, definitely. then we have to follow the rules at least uh, two to three centimeter uh, below from the lesser trochanter okay. yeah. the yeah. proximal yeah. part of the uh, femur uh, then uh, how far we will go uh, for the uh, distal part of the femur is there any measurement from uh, eight centimeter or ten centimeter from the knee joint, we have to uh, do corticotomy in the distal part of the femur. Is there any measurement oh, there? Uh, uh, holy cow! This is grow line. Minimum four five centimeters upper. Upper of the growth line. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. 
minimum 4 to 5 cm upper from the growth line not from the joint mm -hmm. line no joint line okay. no no okay and uh, soft tissue uh, this area uh, usually doctor with monolateral use uh, this area for fixation for uh, pins of shans <clears throat> okay sir so uh, then uh, in case of tibia uh, what will be the uh, corticotomy site in distal tibia so how distal far it will be from the joint? Uh, yeah. same uh, we go up of uh, <clears throat> grow line and minimum uh, three four centimeters uh, and just now we go for osteotomy in distal part of tibia only if we have uh, deformity why because uh, my experience yeah for centimeters this is interesting five centimeters uh, low part uh, eight centimeters uh, proximal part more than 10 centimeters but uh, area for lengthening near the ankle joint not so good ankle joint and muscles and tendon is mm, this patient in the future cannot run patient with proximal uh, place of for lengthening on the tibia can run can jump can everything excellent sir and excellent now, it's a very uh, yeah. monofocal not bifocal slowly slowly step by step uh, with bifocal very quickly but very quickly come everything. Very quickly mm. come problem. Yes. This is problem not go away. That means, sir, uh, uh, in case of tibia, uh, you suggest uh, a monofocal corticotomy. You prefer monofocal corticotomy. But if we it do uh, yes. bifocal, but if we do bifocal uh, corticotomy in case of tibia, uh, but is there any rules uh, that how many distance uh, uh, between? Uh, two part of corticotomy we have to maintain doctor colleagues how we can recommend segment like this here knee joint here ankle joint here grow line now we have only maximum 10 centimeters for job area one uh, ring second ring third ring sometimes uh, place between proximal and distal wires eight centimeters for two level this is not so good. Mm, when, right. we think, uh, when we think about uh, soft tissue, better if between ring we have near 10 centimeters between frame. This result mm. for soft tissue will be excellent. When too closed, we will get, but after two, three centimeters, all wire will cut soft tissue. What is it? This, it, is, this is market for us. Soft tissue having potential for lengthening. When coming first, cutting of skin, better stop. With uh, bifocal, we all time have this uh, <clears throat> situation when wire cuts skin. And not only skin, muscles inside and the skin. With monofocal, it's very small, uh, very seldom we have problem with uh, soft tissue. And now I am prefer better twice monofocal than once bifocal. Bifocal, yes. Another important uh, complications when you are going for bifocal lengthening, uh, you are inviting equinus. Even if you go for monofocal, you are go inviting equinus that's why to overcome that you must suggest your patient all the time go for physiotherapy continuous during the procedure of treatment if you go for bifocal lengthening you are getting more equinus than unifocal you understand that's why these are the very important things during the process of treatment you must advise all the time in rehabilitation process before and after surgery because you are you will get lengthening, but at the same time, you are inviting equinus of the foot. This is very difficult. Sometimes you need to go for the tendoachyl lengthening for this. So that's why keep it in your mind all the time. It is better to go for two times, three times unifocal lengthening is better. But for getting more lengthening, you can do that. But you are inviting equinus. This is obvious and we are getting this. These are the teachings.
You absolutely right, Dr. Barry. And uh, last time I talked about uh, interesting uh, methods of lengthening when we have uh, bifocal. For, for, uh, because two millimeters, one millimeter is proximal, one millimeter is distal, this is very high speed for soft tissue. And uh, for example, if uh, we uh, go through waves, maximum uh, in the proximal and minimum in the distal, distal. then change like that. Yes. Uh, this is support. And in other uh, methods, when we give patient myral accent, like gabalon, like midacal, uh, from, uh, sec on, from second month, after four or five centimeters, we usually start support with some myoral accent. Very good. Uh, when we will meet... Uh, my legs, my docam, you're going to start. This is like he's talking that, about it. Like yes, sir. That means uh, muscle relaxant uh, we prefer after yeah, two of months. Of course, of course, because yeah. you are creating force over the muscles. For relaxant, this is good. And I always so prescribe all the time. So is there any chance to uh, do any uh, common peroneal nerve injury during the lengthening of tibia? Uh, uh, because you see, when you are doing over stretch, you can go that. Otherwise, doing uh, uh, surgery, corticotomy, uh, you can do corticotomy even in the below the, uh, the muscle covered by the uh, whole muscles, upper fibula is fully covered. So if you do the lower third, you don't need to because when you palpate you can feel this is your fibula even then you uh, prick with your uh, 1.5 or 1.8 uh, k wire you can hit and you can weaken the k wire by putting the k wire drilling then you go dust osteotomize first you weaken the bone with k wire pushing drilling k wire two or three then you can osteotomize. very easily you can do that you and you cannot uh, destroy the common peroneal lung when over stretching you go, then this is uh, you can do. Otherwise, no no problem with the common peroneal lung. Uh, that means uh, no, we I can agree. go in the uh, uh, we can go in the same manner that we go in the uh, corticotomy destruction. Uh, that is, uh, uh, Professor Navikov sir says we can make a wave uh, if we do bifocal corticotomy. Uh, we can do mm -hmm. one millimeter in the upper part and 0.5 millimeter in the lower part. Then in the second yes, day, again you can change. We can change. We can alter the okay. uh, wave. That is the wave method. Okay. Yes, that is the wave method. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very so much. So for, uh, for, for Eliza, a lot of teachings, lot of teachings, lot of it is infinite. You know, lifelong, no finish. Still, I don't know a lot of things of Eliza. Still, I'm doing from my residency. How long I'm working? It's still new, 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 new. Everything is new. Research work all the time. And uh, so that's you... why. Mm. That's why I always tell, I always tell the young doctors, if you learn only one technique nicely, you can cover 90% of the trauma and orthopedic problem. Correct? Yes. No, because yes. absolutely, absolutely, and absolutely. Lot of young surgeons, they are, uh, they are just thinking that putting the wires, this is illegal. No, very big things. If you don't go to Kurgan Center, you will not realize. And that's why I tell all the time, the orthopedic surgeons, once in a life, the Muslims, they are going to the Mecca for Hajj, and orthopedic surgeons, they, they should go to the Elizaro Center to see what they are doing. Research you all the time with dogs, with horses, with the, these uh, birds, all kinds of, they are working. And but, uh, uh, Dr. Barry, uh, Mecca is Mecca, but our religion inside of us, and mm. uh, it is enough inside of me, inside of you. And this is uh, not uh, depend from place. Everywhere, it is enough with me. Yes. In China, in Bangladesh, in uh, everywhere. And just now I can uh, call this is planet. This is club planet. of uh, yes. friends of Elizarov without yes. any place. And I invite yes. all of you in our club, Friends of Elizara. Friends of Thank Elizara, you, sir. Thank please. you. Thank you very much, sir, for your invitation. And uh, we hope so. This will be a planet of Elizara. Uh, and uh, definitely, thank you very much, sir, uh, for sharing your knowledge with us. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Mofakarul Bari, sir, for giving your expert opinion. Uh, I would like to thank our 
uh, viewers uh, uh, as because of uh, they are the main part of this program uh, please stay with us and i would like to thank raj tv uh, for helping us uh, to arrange this type of program and definitely renato pharmaceuticals limited for sponsoring this program and i am dr mamud tanvir ashraf saying bye bye for today and hope we will see uh, we'll see you in the next friday with a new topic uh, definitely it will related with the magical ilzaro till then bye 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 thank you you are watching raj tv jagorone bangladesh please subscribe